What's up, everybody? It's your favorite hunter's favorite nerd. Today, we are going to look at three of the Spider-Man Marvel Legend exclusives that have been popping up at retail. This is three out of four. I, I got the Vulture independently. We'll talk about that when we get to him. But I'd much rather just jump into the review. So let's get started. Vulture. Now, this is Ultimate Vulture, if it serves me. If memory serves, I'm not sure that it does. It rarely does, to be honest. The wings are attached by this plug-in piece here. And then the wings are separate pieces onto this plug-in piece and there's a key system so you know which wing goes into which piece which I do appreciate and then this plugs into the back this is just green plastic this is I think this is silver plastic with green painted on interesting and then this plugs into the back that's what he looks like without the wings so this isn't necessarily the vulture that I want. I want the more old school traditional vulture, but I kind of feel like this will do and uh, it will hold me over until we get a vulture, you know, hoping that we do get a vulture. My fear is that with vulture being in this movie and then not having a comic book vulture in this wave that we won't see a vulture for some time. So I, I figured if I got this guy, he's good enough for my, my vulture representation. The head sculpt I like a lot, uh, kind of Lex Luthor-esque, uh, but it's it's pretty well done. Teeth are painted, eyes are painted, eyebrows are painted, sculpt looks good, works fairly well, sits up a little bit, you know, we've been seeing a lot of that recently. But articulation-wise, you can get all the way back to there and back to here without it looking, well, maybe there, without it looking too ridiculous. And then you can get all the way down to there, and then without it looking too ridiculous, at least down to there. And of course the swivel, so that all works well. Uh, the paint job is all right. So it's this like metallic esque green plastic that I think looks really good. And then this lighter green is a separate piece of green plastic as well, glued on. And then this lighter green is painted on with the silver painted, and this green is painted here on the forearms. I think that, yeah, I think so. Pretty sure. Could be wrong. But I'm pretty sure that's just painted on. All right, so let's talk about articulation. We have disc hinged shoulders that get you up all the way and around. We have a double jointed elbow. We have a wrist swivel and a hinge in and out. Stop in the name of love. And then the same for the other side. Two kind of like, I'm going to get you hands, but that's fine. Waist swivel. We have an ab crunch. Ugh, you get maybe a half a click forward and nothing back. I'm not sure, I guess due to this piece here in the back, it doesn't allow for that piece to move underneath. Like it doesn't allow for this midsection to just kinda, and it doesn't, well, no, it doesn't allow for the this section to slide out. So that's a bit of a fail for them because I'm sure they intended for the ab crunch to work, but uh, it doesn't bother me all that much. And we have T-jointed ball joints for hips. They get you out to there, forward to there, thigh swivel, double jointed knee, of course, ankle tilt, down, back, and they rock. Um, I know that they've recently come out and said that like they're not, they have no plan on doing any sort of stands or bases or anything for their Marvel Legends or their Black Series because they don't want to take the money from the budget and spend it on things that aren't necessarily part of the presentation of the figure but like if this guy had like a flight stand like that would look really cool so uh i don't know something to think about especially with an exclusive i feel like they could have put it in there i would have rather had this guy with the flight stand than another uh spider-man that came with him now i got this guy secondhand from someone in uh in the groups and they were selling them i think for 25 shipped and i didn't want to spend 40 so I, and i you know i People like the Spider-Man and that. I knew what the Mary Jane said. I was going to have to eat the 40 because no one was going to sell the Mary Jane. So I figured if I could get away with saving a couple bucks on this set to go ahead and do it. And I, I recommend this guy for sure. Um, I think he's pretty cool if you like the ultimate, you know, Vulture look, which I kind of dig. It's, I mean, it's not the Vulture I want, I admit. Uh, it's definitely a placeholder, but it's a pretty well done placeholder. So next up is Spider-Man. He comes with uh, a masthead with the green eyes. I'm sure this has some reference to some book that I'm not familiar with, but it comes with it. And then we have two wall crawling hands, and then we have 
two fist hands and two web shooting hands. And that rounds out the accessories. Now, I believe this is just Pizza Spidey repainted, uh, which is a good mold, as we all know. The line work on the paint job for the black lines is done really well. It's a little shoddy where this ab crunch had to work, but most of it is done really well and really clean throughout. So, good work. And then we have like, this airbrush burst on his chest, and then the, the spider symbol is tampoed on, it looks like. And that's all really well done and really sharp. They even went over like these cuts here, and the, it looks like it's a good job. They did a good job. Now, the one thing they didn't do such a good job on is the face. It's a great sculpt, but if you look at his left eye, it's a little cattywampus. However, the rest of it looks good. There is a wash in his hair. It, nah, actually, maybe it's not. It. It's just, it might be a subtle. I can't tell. Either way, it looks good. Ball hinge gets you up to there and looks good down to there and looks a little goofy but down to there and looks fine swivel of course so no issues there we have the butterfly joint that gets the arms all the way back to there and forward to there and then we have a disc hinge shoulder that gets you up to here bicep swivel double jointed elbow wrist swivel and hinge in out same for this side ab crunch Get you all the way down to there and back to there. Waist swivel, which destroys the sculpt, but it's just funnier on the skinnier figures for whatever reason. And then we have the hips, T-jointed ball joints that get you out to there. Not the best, but not the worst. I don't know why they don't cut that just a little bit further there at the top of the hip. I don't think it would be distracting. Thigh swivel, double jointed knee, ankle tilt up down and rocker so you know it's a figure that we already knew kind of worked and and this one works as well if you like this sort of uh whatever this spider-man is supposed to be i'm sure it has you know it's it's place in spider-man history i just don't know it and it, it's ultimately meaningless to me but uh you know everybody's trying to buy that set for the mary jane they're not trying to buy this set for the spider-man so uh you know you kind of gotta buy the spider-man in order to get it so with that being said, uh, let's just move on to Mary Jane. So if you've been following my channel at all, then you, uh, in regards to Marvel Legends, then you know that I've been saying they should be making characters like this forever. I'd much rather get a Mary Jane than five different Spider-Men. I'd much rather get an Aunt May, you know, to kind of really flesh out your shelves. But uh, they finally gave it to us. We just had to spend forty dollars to get it, which is ultimately fine. But let's talk about it. So the hair has some nice shading. Looks airbrushed to me from this lighter red to this darker red looks good the face sculpt i love and the paint is extremely well done the eyes the green eyes the freckles on the face the lips all that stuff is done extremely well the eyes are both looking in the same direction which is nice the eyeliner looks good the eyebrows look good all that stuff looks good articulation wise is a little bit limited due to the hair which is a bit softer but not soft enough for her to look up she can however look down and it's still because of the hair covering down on the joint uh it gives the suspension of disbelief there and then she has this accessory which is her purse you don't have to take her head off to get it on or anything like that you just put her arm up slide it up and slide it under her hair gold buckle painted gold clasp paint or gold buckle painted there and then gold button painted and uh, it's okay it's it's it comes in the box in a sort of a weird shape and i think that's to account for the sculpt of the figure so for the torso we have black plastic with the flesh painted on it is fairly well matched though and the line work is exceptionally clean obviously i wish it was sculpted it's not but it's not hateful ball joint for the diaphragm single but decent range and swivel and then we have disc hinge shoulders that gets you up to there elbow swivel with a hinge getting you 90 degrees wrist hinge with a, a swivel uh, and out and we have one fist hand and one like magic using hand i'm not sure that was the best choices but i'm not sure also what else they had available to them but uh that's not it was, I, I guess you know it's nice you can kind of put one you know kind of holding on to the purse but even that's a very dramatic purse hold anyway ultimately it's okay all the uh wrinkles in the clothes and stuff that's all sculpted and looks nice and it's probably nice to have that sort of an option and then we have the jeans which are sculpted like all that material is sculpted it's not like a belt thrown over a, a you know a 
paint stripe, which is nice. So I dig that. I wonder if these are the jeans they're going to use in some regard for Jessica Jones. I guess time will tell. T-jointed ball joints for hips with a great range out to the side. Almost the full Van Dam and the full Monty. Uh, well, forward anyway. And then a thigh swivel. All the creases in the pants and the wrinkles and stuff and the seams down the side of the jeans. It looks fantastic. Absolutely great job. All the belt, I mean, the buttons are buttons. What am I? I, I got butt on my mind. That's why. That's what it is. And the, and the B is taking place of the P. And the P is what I need to talk about, which are pockets. And they're sculpted. Uh, thigh swivel, double jointed knee. A little tight. Let's see if this one... You know, so you can get the full range. It's like one of them's tight on one and one of them's tight on the other. Uh, and then it has like an airbrush burst on the, the front of the legs, which gives it that like faded jean, jean look that's kind of just sold at regular retail now as, you know, off the shelf, which is smart and it looks good. Uh, it's a it's a good looking figure. The bottom of the jeans come down and are sculpted to the end, which brings us to the bottom of the foot, which has the shoe just painted on in lines. You know, like the, it's just the white, I mean, it's just the white skin, like the, the peach color that's the flesh tone, rather, that's painted on the top. But it's okay. You get an ankle tilt up to there and down to there, and then you also get the rocker. It doesn't, uh, she has she has a little bit of a hard time finding her balance, uh, but, you know, a little bit of care and finesse, and, and you'll get it going with nothing to really worry about. Uh, I do like that she has kind of like a strong, you know, female kind of vibe about her. Like, I think that that kind of fits. So, yeah, good job. Final thoughts wise, I can't tell you about the Vulture set too much because I didn't get a chance to look at the Spider-Man. I'm sure it's a Spider-Man we've seen before and I'm sure it's equivalent to whatever that is. As for the Vulture itself, I can say that I like him a lot. I think he's a really well done figure. I think even for those huge wings on his back, he's extremely well balanced, surprisingly so, especially for a Marvel Legends that sometimes has a hard time standing with or without wings. As for the Mary Jane and Spidey set, I yes, I recommend it mainly because this is going to be your only opportunity to get a Mary Jane more than likely. So you probably just had to buy the bullet if you want that spider-man you're even better off if you don't you'll feel like vulture who lost his chance at true love while peter parker and mary jane look rather intimate together and you'll hold your head and cry like i did having to spend 40 dollars for a mary jane figure that you would have much rather just spent 24 but i'm sure they worried and had meetings with their corporate offices about what and will not sell and somebody somewhere in a suit and tie said People will never buy a Mary Jane figure. Mary Jane won't sell. You need to put her with a Spider-Man figure, and they probably won't even sell that. So put it as an exclusive to some big retail chain store so we can make sure to get our money. Positive side of that is that she actually is fairly decent representation of a character that most fans have wanted, especially Spider-Man fans have wanted for an awfully long time. So I do recommend it. Just, you know, I think you, most of you guys already know exactly what you were getting into when you even contemplated having to buy it. So with that being said, no skit today. I'm a little tired. Uh, maybe I'm cranky. I'm not sure. But thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Until next time, take care.